Before you decide to start YouTube automation, you should know the unfiltered truth. Lately, I've noticed hundreds of gurus talking about all the money that you'll make if you start on YouTube automation, but none of them are warning you about the challenges and reality that you'll face. The truth is that YouTube automation can be wildly profitable or a complete waste of time if you're not aware of the risks that I'll be sharing with you today. And if you're curious about my background on YouTube, I've uploaded hundreds of videos and made tens of thousands of dollars. I've had viral bangers, but I've also had total flops and I've learned from every piece of content that I've put up. With all the recent hype about YouTube automation, I searched YouTube for a video that talks about the reality and the negative side of this business model, but I couldn't find anything. So I decided to create this video and share my own story to help you avoid some of the same dead ends that I found. But first, we need to understand exactly what I'm referring to when I say YouTube automation. See, when YouTube first started, most channels were attached to a person, meaning there was a real human live in the videos. But one day, some lazy genius decided to try posting a video without ever getting in front of the camera. Instead, this lazy mastermind recorded his voiceover from the comfort of his underwear and edited in some stock footage that resulted in millions of views. And boom, YouTube automation was born. So now, you need to understand what happened to me so you can avoid making the same mistakes. When I first heard about YouTube automation, it really caught my attention. I obviously love YouTube and the word automation just sounds so easy and simple. I kept seeing videos about channels that were getting millions of easy views and making thousands of dollars where the owners were buying Lambos and all this crazy stuff. So I decided to test it out for myself by creating my own YouTube automation channel. The first thing that I did was made a list of YouTube channel ideas. And three days later, I had my channel idea, which was a mistake by the way, but we'll get to that later. My plan was simple. I decided to make a compilation channel for the most viral memes on the internet. I chose that because I thought it'd be super easy to make videos and I'd obviously get a ton of views relatively easily. So I spent a few hours editing that first video, hoping that it would go viral and I would start making money. Well, a week went by and it got about 50 views. So I went back to the drawing board. I found more viral clips that were all about a similar topic and I made sure that the editing was super on point and posted the video. Another week went by and I I got about 7,000 views, and then I got my big break. The video went viral and got 100,000 views, and I thought I was on my way to buy my first Lambo, just like all the gurus promised. But boy, was I wrong. Everything seemed on track. My channel reached 4,000 hours, and I had 1,000 subs within a month, so I applied for monetization. And this is where I hit my first dead end. As it turns out, compilation channels are super hard to monetize since you're basically repurposing content from other people. Unless you transform the content, then it violates YouTube monetization guidelines. So even though my channel had grown to about 30,000 subscribers and over 12 million views, it was pretty much useless since I couldn't monetize it. Luckily though, I was still able to sell the channel to some dude in Russia for like 3,000 bucks. I was more determined than ever since I knew that I had just gotten a bunch of views, but this time I was going to take the process way more seriously. One of the main takeaways that I learned was that I needed to choose a niche topic for my YouTube automation channel that would have a high CPM. CPM is the cost that advertisers pay to be in front of your audience. So after listening to all the gurus who told me that the best CPM niches were channels who talk about stuff like finance, real estate, and money, I decided to start a channel about wealth and personal finance. Finance. The channel's name was The Money Navigator since it sounded like something that would be good for YouTube. But next, I needed to figure out the automation part. I went online to hire freelancers to edit the videos and design the thumbnails. And then I decided to use AI to script and narrate the videos since it was cheaper than having to pay someone. I spent a few days researching some of the most successful channels in our niche and I decided that the best topic for our first video would be five signs that you're doing well financially. Then I just simply went over to chat GPT and asked it to write a six minute YouTube script about the five signs that you might be doing well financially. And just like that, within about 30 seconds, I had a script. 
I remember thinking to myself, damn, this is starting to feel like automation. I passed the script over to the editor and he used it to create a video using an AI voiceover. Once the editing and thumbnail were done, we were all in for about 75 US dollars. So next, it was time to post the actual video. And this was where I needed to spend some more time and actually make sure that the right keywords and hashtags were being used so that we could get views from the right people. And once that was all sorted, I uploaded my next video. This video didn't get very many views in the first week, but I was optimistic that it would get some views in the future because that's kind of how my last channel went. But after 30 days, this one still hadn't gotten that many views. The video seemed stuck around 400 views, but then something magical happened. The video picked up out of nowhere, and over the next couple months, it got over 22,000 views and 239,000 impressions, which drove in a couple hundred subscribers. This obviously caused me to start looking up how much Lamborghinis cost again. But of course, that's where everything fell apart again. I uploaded three more videos and none of them were able to repeat that same success. I didn't understand because I was spending more time on the scripting and we were improving the editing and the thumbnails. At one point, I even tried using my own voice instead of the AI to try to revive the channel and get some activity, but nothing worked. Looking back on this case, this channel failed for two reasons. The first reason is that I wasn't doing anything to build a brand. Even though that first video got some views and had some good information, the viewing experience felt soulless. Think about it. The robotic Hello, AI voice, the cheap editing, I didn't give the viewer any reason to come back or be excited about discovering my channel. It was far too easy for my video to get lost in the sauce of all the other content on YouTube. The second reason is that flat out, I just didn't invest enough time or money into this channel. In my opinion, the word YouTube automation is totally misleading because it makes this process sound so simple and easy. But the truth is, it's anything but that. YouTube is competitive, and if you want to stand out, then you need to have quality information, quality production, and a loyal following. In order to achieve that, you need to spend time coming up with amazing video topics, catchy scripts, and edits that are going to retain the viewer. Unless you've already mastered all those skills, you need to spend money on a quality editor and a good thumbnail designer. Not to mention that you have to manage the entire team and quarterback the operation, which takes a ton of time and energy. As you can see, YouTube automation isn't really automated at all. In fact, the only thing that's really different about YouTube automation versus a normal YouTuber is that you're not on camera, but you still have to manage everything else and ultimately it's totally up to you to make the channel successful or not. Believe it or not, I'm actually so glad that these failures happened to me because I learned so much from them and basically got a master's degree at what not to do on YouTube. Both my wins and losses have helped me in making the right decisions launching this channel and helped me get crazy results like hitting 50,000 subscribers in three months and all already make over $10,000 from AdSense and even more from YouTube partnership opportunities. Since the education system is totally failing us, I would much prefer to have a degree in what actually works on YouTube than some liberal arts degree as a means of making money. And that's why I share everything that I know about what actually works on YouTube and my entire business model with my private clients. But back to this concept of YouTube automation. I hate to be the one to break it to you, but the days of starting a channel that just uploads rain sound and makes hundreds of thousands of dollars are over. That easy, low-hanging fruit has become way too saturated. If you actually want to break through on YouTube, then you need to remember these four things. Niche is everything. You need to pick a topic that people are interested in now and that more people will continue to grow an interest in over the foreseeable future. A few recent examples of this would be things like mental health back in 2020 or AI this year. Number two, like any business model, you need to spend and money to make money on YouTube. Investing in things like knowledge and mentorship that'll give you an edge, a really good editor, and quality thumbnails are gonna help you get results faster than if you try to go at it alone. Number three, find the best talent. If you can find people who are capable of turning your vision into a reality, please make sure that you keep them around. And number four, don't have false expectations. If you listen to all the gurus, then you're probably gonna end up like me and start shopping for a Lamborghini before you post your first video. Sure. 
You can make some crazy money on YouTube pretty quickly when you do it right, but it always takes effort and it isn't guaranteed right away. Expectations are just resentments and disappointments waiting to happen. And that applies to everything in life, not just YouTube. So look, if you haven't gotten the point by now, the term YouTube automation was pretty much created by gurus as a way to make the business model sound easier than it actually is. The truth is that it's anything but easy. If I was to rename it based on reality, I'd probably call it YouTube management because it's a much more accurate description. No matter what though, YouTube is a marathon and not a sprint. If you treat it like a sprint and try to take shortcuts or chase quick, easy views, then you're gonna end up paying for it over time. My goal of this video was to help you see the reality of YouTube automation so that you can make an educated decision before deciding to go spend a bunch of time and money on something that you aren't fully committed to. And just so you guys know, some people in the industry have literally reached out to me and told me that I shouldn't be sharing this kind of information for free. But don't worry, I'm gonna continue to level with you guys and give you the unfiltered truth that they don't want you to know. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please drop it a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe subscribe for more like this in the future.